a Peruvian fishing boat heading into deep waters to hunt for shark, especially blue shark. It's hard, dangerous work at sea for weeks in stormy winter oceans. And this boat is preparing to do something entirely illegal, to harpoon dolphin and to butcher them at sea to use a shark bait. Jose, not his real name, used to be a fisherman and has harpooned dolphin. He was so repulsed, he now works for a conservation group. People think that it doesn't happen, but it does happen. They're not going to admit it, but they know that it happens. A lot of people know it, but they don't want to see it. They don't want to admit that, yes, they hunt dolphins and they're still practicing it. With these pictures, they can't deny it. When the harpoon strikes home, it doesn't kill the dolphin. So as the fishermen reel it into the boat, it's still alive and still in pain. Finally, they haul it onto the deck with a spike. In Peru, nowadays, we have the world's biggest illegal wildlife slaughter on cetaceans going on. Now we have the pictures, we can see it and we can prove to people this is happening dozens of times every day with thousands of dolphins per year getting killed. He estimates 3,000 dolphins a year are killed. Other experts say more. And what's perhaps most shocking is that this dolphin meat is not for human consumption, but to provide fishermen with cheap bait to attract sharks to their fishing lines. We showed these pictures to conservation experts who said killing dolphins like this was inhumane and unnecessary. You can use um, fish guts, all sorts of things, to, to bait your hooks. You don't need to use a sentient, intelligent, incredible animal like a dolphin. It's an awful waste. You're talking about a highly intelligent, social, feeling animal. And to see animals hunted like this, it's, it's barbaric. Dusky dolphins are not officially listed as threatened because scientists don't know how many live in oceans around the world. But their chances of survival can only be threatened by illegal and inhumane hunting. Lawrence McGinty, ITV News.